Happy Finish Friday, everybody. I am really jazzed about sharing with you the information that you're gonna learn today. Um, as always, um, I want you to be able to ask questions. Today may kind of throw you um, a curveball in the fact that, okay, wait, this is new. I've never heard about this before. I've never done this before, but I love it and I wanna know more. So as always, um, it's 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. We're coming live to you from Memphis, Tennessee. And I am here to be able to answer your questions. So if, you, um, if you've been on Pinterest at all, if you, I know you're on Instagram because Instagram's right here and Facebook's right here. But if you've been looking around and you're studying finishes with furniture or interiors, because what we're doing today can actually be used on walls as well, um, there is no way that you are not realizing that things metallic are very much on trend. Um, but here's the, here's the conundrum. You might love gold, but you love copper on certain things. You love silver on other things. And I don't want you to have to buy a whole lot of products in order to be able to do that. I'm gonna show you today a very easy way to one, make your own custom waxes and make your own custom metallic glazes. I love working with waxes because they give you a beautiful look. They're very easy to do. They're quick. Um, and the longer they cure, the harder they are, and the more beautiful the finish. So, let me show you some of these sweet little metallics that we have. Now, mica is what it's called, M-I-C-A. This is actually a mica powder. This is metal, guys. Believe it or not, a lot of these are used in makeup. So, if you have bronzers and things that you use on your face, these mica powders are used in them. They're quite expensive, um, they're difficult to find, and there's definitely, there's, there is a quality issue as far as some being a higher quality than others. Of course, I'm very proud of ours. I have curated the colors too, so I wanna go over that with you for just a second. So we have, this is just a beautiful gold. I have a couple of different golds. This is a bright bronze color. All of these can be made into waxes and glazes that you can use on different um, chalk-based paints. This is a chocolate pearl, isn't that yummy? This is a copper penny. This is a diamond dust. And here's another gold. This is more of a deep gold. So here's the cool thing. The reason I've got a lot of different colors here is because when you're working on different colors, maybe different color kitchen cabinets like I've got here, or if you're painting a, di a different piece of furniture, you're gonna want to have a different color mica. So I've got these here and I'm gonna show you, you're gonna see the incredible transformation that's gonna, they're gonna go through um, to be able to put a decorative metallic wax on top of your furniture that you're painting. All right, so I'm gonna move this kitchen cabinet door over to the side just a minute. I'll get to it. You know, the fun thing about it is, too, if you watched last week when I was showing you how to be able to do the Venetian plaster, you can use uh, metallic waxes on Venetian plaster walls and it is out of this world. Especially, let's say you did it in white and you can come back and mix up a pearl um, mica. You can also, mind blown, you're ready for this, you can put mica powders in the Venetian plaster. That way you don't have to come on top of it. They, our mica powders and our Venetian plaster is made to be able uh, to blend very well. So it's awfully, awfully fun to do. All right, so I'm gonna take this black. This is painted in our one step um, black paint. Now, here's what's great. When you're working with mica powders, it's good to be able to have a matte finish that is in our chalk base finished. If you're not familiar with the one step paint, I'll grab it so that way you can see it. The One Step Paint is a matte finish. It's chalky base. You don't have to sand it, prime it, or um, prep it or strip it in order to be able to put it on. You can put it on top of an existing finish that has lacquer, whatever on it, and it's going to adhere. But here's the great thing about the One Step Paint. It's matte. When you work with a lot of different acrylic-based paints, um, they have plastics in it that when you come back and you're wanting to do specialty finishes like micas and waxes or micas and glazes where you've got metallic finishes, um, it can sit on the surface. You won't have as much control over it as when you are dealing with a more matte, um, flat finish like our chalk-based paint, the one-step paint. Um, it goes down in there, it permeates, and then that way when you buff it, 
It has a beautiful patina, P-A-T-I-N-A. -A. Many of you, you're familiar with that, but there's a true thing about getting a beautiful patina. So what you're starting with, what you're gonna be painting with, it's gonna be best um, to kind of go in this process. So I want you to start with the one step paint first. Now, as always, um, you wanna clean your piece with a clean slate because you need to get all the surfactants off, all the waxes off. Here's the other thing. When I'm showing you today to be mixing and making your own custom wax, the way to clean your brushes, it cannot be cleaned with soap and water. You're gonna to need to clean your brushes with a clean slate because it is a petroleum-based product working with the waxes. Um, so we're gonna to have to make sure that we've got some of this clean slate on hand. I call it a DIY pantry essential. So. All right, so this is, I'm telling you, this it's a little bit like chemistry class, but it's also a lot, a lot of fun. All right, so I'm gonna take this copper penny. This goes a long, long way too. Look what a yummy color, can you see that? All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of wax. I'm gonna put just a little bitty squirt of our Mind Your Own Beeswax in a container like this. I'm gonna take just a little bit of my Copper Mica. That's about all it takes. This is gonna go a long way. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. So easy. Now I'm gonna get a little bit of a brush. Remember guys, send me some love, send me some hearts, tell me where you're from, I like to know who's watching. And I want you, if you aren't part of our before and after group, please join it because it's an opportunity for us to share what everybody's doing. It's a lot of fun to see how you use the products. Now look at that. Now we've got a beautiful copper wax. Is this yummy? So, so easy. It blends very, very well with this liquid Mind Your Own Beeswax, and now I've got a gorgeous metallic wax. Now watch this. So I'm gonna come back here. Look at this. Is this easy? I'm gonna put it in the light so you can see it. Look at this. You can dry brush it if you want to, meaning you wanna offload just a little bit more. So I can come back and look at this. See the difference? I'm putting it on a little heavier. But what if I just want to just have a little bit of highlight, look at that, then I can do that too. But I want to be able to show you something with this. You can come back after you've put that wax on. Here's the fun part. Look at this. Look at this. See how I'm rubbing that away? And you're seeing that down in there. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to go on and do just a little bit more so you can see it. Guys, ask me questions. There are no dumb questions. This is how everybody learns. Because this is gonna be the easiest way for you to be able to get a gorgeous metallic look to a piece of furniture that you're working on. Now, of course on this one, I'm doing copper on black. So I'm gonna come back. But let's say when I'm working on another color, look at that, isn't that beautiful? You don't want to leave it solid. You want to be able to come back like this and pull some away. And if I want to get it even more down into the crevices, I'll come back with a little bit of steel wool and I'll hit the tops where it becomes more kind of a black solid. And that way, now that wax is just kind of down now in the crevices. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so now let me show you another color. Yes. Uh Instagram is asking how many microcolors there are. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. Am I right? There's six colors. Wait. Yes, there are six mica colors. So that awesome. way you've got your copper, your um, your diamond dust, which is just your pearlized metallics, um, your bronzes, and your chocolates, which these have the the highest amount of impact. Um, now, so let me show you. I'm gonna go with a cooler color, and now I'm gonna take my uh, diamond dust, which is more of a pearl. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my Mind Your Own Beeswax. You know what? I lied, we have seven colors. Uh-oh, we have seven colors because this is my pearl. Look at this. 
That's my pearl. Is that gorgeous? It's beautiful. All right. So now I'm going to take a little bit, and you can mix these. Here's the big deal, guys. I can take a little bit of copper. What do you think? Answer this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Do we have that many people watching? I don't know what it's like. Sometimes we have a lot of people watching. Okay, here's your way because you, uh, thank you so much for watching live. I am going 14. to. Uh, I'm going to do a giveaway to the person that answers this correctly first. I've got my two people that I handle, and I'll be able to do it for Instagram and for Facebook. If I mix, which is this is a great, very popular color, if I mix copper with gold, what is that going to give me? What color is that going to give me? I want to wait just a minute. The first person to answer this, I'm going to send you both of these for free. What if I mix gold with copper? Yes. Rose gold. Yes. Ding, 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 ding. You, it's rose gold. Rose gold is so beautiful. And by mixing the two of these, um, they <laughs> meld. What is it? Uh, Tony Caldwell was the first one to do it. Now they're just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm blushing. I'm so excited. Oh, my rose gold. Congratulations, rose gold. Tony. Um, so what I, want, what I need you to do... Call the office. It's 901-547-1448. Call the office. Talk to the girls and give them your address, and we're going to send these to you today. So congratulations. Um, rose gold is so beautiful. So you want to make sure you have the Mind Your Own Beeswax and the Squeezable with these two, and that's going to make a beautiful rose gold. But the other thing is you can also mix. Let's go back. So now I've got my cooler color, my gray, and then I've got my pearlized color. It's gonna make whatever I'm working on basically look like a pearl, pearlized metallic. If I wanted to, I can come back and I can mix a little bit of the diamond dust in it. Now, here's the caveat. I wanna make sure when you're working on this, wear a dust mask. It's hard for me to wear a dust mask because I can't talk to you. But I do want you to wear a dust mask when you're working on these. Now I'm gonna offload just a little bit. As always, when, anytime we're working with waxes, get a little piece of cardboard and this acts as your palette. It's, it looks, you can tell how easily it blends. All right, so now watch. Here's my, I painted this in the gray one step. Look at this. Is this gonna be beautiful? So look how easy, it's like melted butter, guys. It goes on so easily. You're not gonna leave it solid like this. You don't realize how easy you can transform a piece of furniture with custom waxes and I don't want you to have to buy a ton of them I want you to be able to just have some mind drawn beeswax and your mica powders and you may not realize this did you know that we have it formulated that you can you can actually mix our one-step paints with wax and make colored waxes now look at this look what I'm doing I am taking a dry brush and I'm just pulling some of this off so I don't have quite as much and then I'm gonna come back with a lint free rag I want this to set just a little while I don't want to take too much off but look at that now I've got this very soft uh oh pearlized paint color isn't that gorgeous wouldn't that be darling in a child's room does that show up on the camera it does so that way I can just let that come to tack and I can buff it, isn't that beautiful? So, now I wanna show you another one because working with different colors are gonna to look totally, totally different. Um, what color would y'all like to see me put on top of this blue? This is one of the most popular blues we have. It's called Vintage Affliction. Somebody tell me what they would like for me to put on top of it. Instagram or Facebook? Come on guys, tell me what to do. Should we do diamond dust? Do you want me to put a gold on top of it? Would you like for me to do a kind of a chocolate pearl or a bronze? We have a request for pearl okay. and gold, and gold. On Instagram. Okay, Facebook, do we have any requests? Silver. Silver. Pearl. Pearl. So what do you think? Should we try silver? We've had two silver requests. Let's do that, guys. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit, look at this. Ooh, it's like high glitter. It's so yes. pretty. 
All right, yes. so I'm going to take... We have hearts for diamond dust on Instagram. All right, mm -hmm. Instagram. So I'm going to put just a little bit of wax in here. And here, you know, here's the thing. Guys, this goes a long, long way. You, All you need is just a little bit of this, probably about three of these, and I can do an entire piece of furniture. Look at that. Woo, it's a party. Now, look at that. Now, in order to make my metallic wax, this is all I need to do. And remember, if, you, if you're just now tuning in, you can mix the mica powders in the plaster. If you didn't watch last week, you can mix these together and you can also mix them in the milk paints. All right, can you see that? I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more. I'm having too much fun. You know what? I think it would also, I'm gonna add just a little bit of gold to this. I'm wanting you to see just how easy this is. You know, I talk so much about a DIY pantry, meaning when you're cooking at home, and if you have like onions and um, garlic, and I got just a little bit too much. If you have those certain things in your pantry at home, you can make almost anything. Same thing with your DIY pantry. As far as having things like mica, pigments, waxes, clean slate, um, you can, you can do almost any kind of finish, especially those of you that are doing this. Um, some a labor of love, some because it's a hobby. Some of you, you're making money by selling furniture. This, this really increases your ability to be able to have specialty finishes for your clients. All right, so I'm gonna take my chip brush. I'll load this up. offload. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's a really pale kind of gold, but I've got a little bit of that silver in there. Love that. So I could highlight it like this if I wanted to, or I can do it a little bit heavier like this, do the whole thing. I'm telling you, it's like putting on melted butter. Look at that. And the cool thing about this is the longer it dries, the more it cures, the harder it gets, and it's a very hardy finish. You don't have to worry about it. It's going to be impervious to kids and um, being able to use it on a tabletop. You can very easily use this on a tabletop if you want to. And I, But I can come back. I can mix this. I can come back on top of it with a little bit of bronze. It's going to look beautiful. All right. I want to be able to show you something that I did earlier. This is a before. This is actually a milk paint that I did before. And then I came back and I added, I made up a copper wax and put on top of it. Look at that, it's totally different. Once these waxes that you make with the mica powders come to tack, you can buff them. So I can buff this just a little bit. That way it's not quite as shiny, but it gives me that beautiful metallic finish. Is that not gorgeous? That looks like it's been there for hundreds of years. I love that. Look at the transformation. This is just the copper wax on top of the black Toscana. Yes. Two questions. Mm -hmm. One is, what wax are you using? I am working with the uh, Mind Your Own Beeswax because it's it comes in a liquid form. It's really easy to be able to mix with my mica powders to make all kinds of metallic waxes. Second question, can you use on a wrought iron staircase railing? Hmm. Wrought iron. Is the wrought iron, um, is the staircase railing, the question is, can you use it on a staircase railing? Yes, you can use this wax on metal, and it's beautiful. Now, my question is, is it indoors or outdoors? Can you, who's asking that question? Let's go back. So let me know your railing. Laney, Laney Prather. Okay, Laney, is your staircase railing that you're wanting to do, is it indoors or outdoors? Can you uh, use the matte sealer with mica powder? What a great segue. Who, is that Lainey asking that no, question? No, this is Marcy. Marcy, gosh, I have the most, I have the smartest students. Y'all are my students. I am your teacher. I love, um, with a maker studio, they call me the mother maker, but I have the best students. Y'all are awesome. Indoor. Indoors, yes. Bingo. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, you can use it indoor. Easy done. You're going to love it. And here... 
Here's another fun thing. Um, Verdigris is really beautiful on um, iron railing staircases like that. You can come back and paint it like a, a chocolate color in our one-step paint and then make up a verdigris. You can take one of our pigments um, and you can mix up some green pigment with your wax and then come on top of it with copper. Oh, it'll be beautiful. It'll look like a metallic verdigris. Everybody's going, okay, wait, Amy, show us how to do that. All right, so I want to just show you something. This is really fun, too. I get in so much trouble. I get excited. I'm showing y'all how to do stuff, and then it's like, um, and then these Facebook Live segments turn into 30 and 45 minutes, so I apologize. All right, so this is one of our, this is our water-based glazing liquid. Um, you can mix this with the one-step paint, but guess what? You can also mix it with mica powders. So if you want to be able to make a glaze, you can out of the glaze itself. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Make sure you're stirring it up. It's going to be kind of a creamy color, creamy white. Can you see that? All right, so now I'm going to take a little bit, I'll take a little gold. Now, all I have, this is so easy. I'm, I'm going to be able to make a gold glaze. Boom, done. Look at this. It's as easy as that. Look at this. Is that wild, guys? So you can do the same thing with this mica powder with the glaze. I can make a gold glaze that's water-based, or I can do a wax. So let me show you. I've got my, my cabinet door over here. Fit this in. Stir that up just a little bit. And then I'm just going to come back with a chip brush. Look at this. Is this easy? So that way, if you like coming back with um, like bronze or gold or silver, you can just make this metallic glaze up. And it does have an agent in it where it seals it. So you don't have to come back on top of it with wax if you don't want to. A lot of people don't realize with my uh, one-step paint, you don't have to seal it. It's good. You can just enjoy that matte finish. Um, but I do it more to create a patina. It just makes it really pretty. Are there any questions? Am I blowing their mind now? Is everybody going, uh, Amy, you're scaring me. I could be doing this with wax if I wanted to. Yes. So there was a question on Instagram about the waxes on a flatter surface. Okay. Just can it, they wanted to see the correspondence. Oh my gosh, it's so easy on a flat surface. It'll, it's kind of like this. It's gonna show it beautifully. So now I'm just gonna come back with a lint-free rag. It's real important to come back with a lint-free rag. Look at this. I'm going to leave some down in the crevices, especially like if I'm working on a cabinet door. I just don't want you to think that you've got to buy 20,000 different products. I love the fact that you can get this gorgeous look so easy, easy peasy. And if I was doing this with a bronze color, wouldn't that be gorgeous? I'm going to come back with just a little bit of a dry brush. See how I'm going to leave it down in the crevices like this? And guys, this is also about subtlety. Believe it or not, I don't know if you can um, see it with these phones or not. This goes on so easy. Look at this. Can you see it? Does that show up? That's just on top of the one-step paint. Does it show up at all? Mm -hmm. The metallic? This is about getting just a beautiful, easy-peasy metallic finish, being able to mix these up um, I can very easily use them. This is going to dry in about 30 minutes and I'm done. I don't have to do anything else to it. So that way we've got all these gorgeous metallic colors. You can blend them, you can mix them, you can make um, pearl. I can mix the pearl with my paint. I can mix it with a glaze. I just think it's so easy to be able to mix um, the Mind Your Own Beeswax with the mica powders and uh, Use a spoon, use a little artist brush, and then that way go over a piece of furniture like this 
and you're done. I mean, guys, how else are you gonna get such a professional, easy looking finish? Here was the before and here's the copper afterwards. Allow it to dry, you know, 30, 40 minutes. Then you can come back if you want to with a little steel wool. You can buff it like this with a lint-free rag and you've got that gorgeous metallic finish. Easy peasy. So hopefully today was informative, fun. Um, it lets you see how you can use waxes. You don't have to seal the one-step paint, but what makes it so great is the fact that you can make these custom metallic waxes that are so fun and so easy, and it raises your level of connoisseurship in your finishing, and it's gonna make your furniture that much more desirable. It's your turn, guys, to go enjoy the bragging right. Share your before and afters. We wanna see how you're creating gorgeous metallic finishes. Have a fantastic weekend.